Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Tree of the DIY Ninja, and today we are going to be looking at the McCart Nail Extension Gel Kit, also known as a poly gel or hybrid gel. And this is the Glitter Jelly Poly Gel Kit. <laughs> So excited for this because when poly gels first came out I was like wow something new in the nail world I gotta try it and you know what I did like it um, it was a lot easier than acrylic or gel builder gel but <laughs> with my um, visual limitations it was still difficult for me but overall it is the easiest method that I found for um, nail extensions anyways now that they have all of these cool Macars coming out with so many cool kits like I want to buy them all but realistically I know I don't need them all but I kind of need them all huh no not really I just want them all okay anyways let's get on to the unboxing let's take a quick look around this box it's kind of like I can't really tell what color but it kind of reminds me of like little twin stars, like purple, pink, blue, kind of like a blend. Looks like a blend of them. And it has a seal on the bottom here. Let's take a quick look around the box. Just very cute, simple packaging. I bought this off Amazon. Let's take a look at the official name. Does it say? Hopefully you can read that. To me, it looks pretty blurry. But I will put the link down in the description box, if available. So, like I said, I bought this off Amazon. Uh, I don't remember the exact price. I've already opened this, as you can see. I have one hand done to show you what it looks like. And we'll do a close-up and a more detailed look later. And this hand has nothing because I have another project to work on that hand or new products that I bought. Anyways, here is the reveal. Wow, isn't that beautiful? Um, so those of you that follow my channel know that I am colorblind, but to me it looks kind of like an ombre. I'm gonna guess and say this is like blue, purple to pink ombre. Really beautiful packaging. They've really stepped up their game from when Poly Gels first came out. This is Gorgeous. This is actually my first McCart poly gel kit. Um, when I was deciding to experiment with poly gel, I actually went with Model 1s just because they said um, it wasn't hard to squeeze out of the bottle. But you know what? After trying these, these are not hard either. <laughs> so it's about the same consistency to me. They're easy to work with if you can see them. The only drawback is that they're kind of like a clear jelly like I'll show you on my nail let's see we need some kind of background okay baby so do you see like the tips are clear everything's kind of sheer and clear so it's hard for me to work with because it's basically invisible to me but for people with the average eye and vision this should be a breeze for you and super fun it definitely was fun for me even though it was a little more challenging so in the kit you get four um, holographic glitter poly gels like isn't that so awesome and the glitter is very like it's a what can I say it's a classy glitter it's like like a twinkle a sparkle a sprinkle of glitter and like I can't see them unless I use my camera and zoom in in certain lighting so I'll try to show you that a little later like I said but you get a a purple a pink a silver and a blue um, not sure if that's the right order shown here, but it should be. Or maybe this is a pink. Oh, purple, purple, silver, hollow, pink, hollow, and blue hollow. So they have like a little drop that you can see, and it's like a holographic. It's hard to show. But yeah, really pretty. So it comes with a base coat and a top coat. And the top coat is a um, non-tacky top coat, so you don't need to wipe it off. A no-wipe top coat, I guess, which is very helpful. Helps speed up the process. You get this beautiful... Is this ombre colored? Yeah, it's ombre. This beautiful ombre. This looks more blue here and pink on the end, so I'm guessing the middle is purple. 
or maybe the end is purple and the middle is pink, who knows. Anyway, it's a beautiful ombre file, which um, I haven't used yet because I have other files. I don't want to ruin it. It's just so pretty. Like, literally, this reminds me of Little Twin Stars, which is, like, my favorite Sanrio character. And let's see if I can take this pen out. There we go. And here is, like, a really beautiful, heavy-duty pen, again, with the ombre. Uh, one side has the spatula. And the other side has the brush. So after testing out the brush, I don't use the spatula, though I probably should. It would probably make things a lot neater for me. I just squeeze directly into the dual form or directly onto whatever I'm using. But yeah, super handy to have. The brush works really well. It was really easy to use. And I just clean it off with a bit of alcohol before putting it back. But yeah, this kit is gorgeous. Just put this back here. And we're almost done, but not quite yet. It comes underneath, it comes with a full box of dual forms. This may be hard to see because it's clear on clear, but there are dual forms in here that you can most likely find your size. I'll show you the curvature on the dual form. Let's just pick one out there. Oh, good job. Let me put my remote in the back so hopefully you can see. It's a slight curve. Not too extreme. Not like super empress. I would say it's a really good medium. Though this set might also come with like flats and curves. I forget. I also can't see. So, yeah. Whichever one I used on my fingers worked really well. And now it's time for the close-up. I'm just going to close this. Oh, so it comes with everything you would need to make your poly gel nails. Except it doesn't come with the, the slip solution. But people do say you can use, they do say you can use the base coat for slip solution, but I feel like that's a waste of base coat. <laughs> so it's cheaper and probably a lot easier to use um, just rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. You can buy it if you can find it at Costco for like $3 for a whole, whole bottle. So yeah, definitely was great. Should I just leave this open? Actually, maybe I will. So the base coat was really good. Like, I tried um, a couple of different methods. I tried the Lazy Girl method that I saw from Femi Beauty on YouTube. So if you haven't checked her out, you should check her out. I'll try to include her link to her channel down below, but I most likely forget. So Femi Beauty, she I introduced me to the Lazy Girl method, which is something I actually experimented with like years ago without knowing that it was an actual thing. I was just trying like, oh, does Builder Gel hold on? Press on nails. Does, does glue hold hold on better, does base coat hold on, does top coat hold on, and I just, it never worked out for me. So then when I saw her perfect this method, or kind of like, what was it, alter the Apray Gel X dupes, I was like, oh, this is actually a thing, it actually works, so I tried it again, and it works great. Anyways, I'll have another video on that eventually, but um, let me see if I can show you my nails super close up. Now, remember, I'm like basically, I'm legally blind and basically can't see and I still was able to do my own nails, which means you can too. Uh, it took me really long time, like super, super long, but I got him done, but I also kept getting interrupted, so maybe that's why. Oh, good job, baby. Okay. So here, I'm going to show you, hopefully it focuses. This one is the purple hollow glitter can you see the tip this one i used the um dual form to do and it came out great oh this one is blue actually sorry like i said i'm colorblind um the more thick and concentrated you put the gel the more color you'll see otherwise it will just be like a very very slight tint this one i kind of built up the tip a little too thick and i didn't file the underside so it is like not the best but it'll do but yeah do you see the tip is really thick hence why you can see the color a bit more and then this one is the pink I really like this one 
this pink one. This one I did a different method. Um, this one I just took a press-on full cover nail and then I just shaped it to the shape that I wanted it approximately and then I put the poly gel inside as if I were doing a dual form except um, so again I use base coat on all my nails and then I just cured it on top of the base coat and it just kind of sticks on your press on nails for you that was another method I learned from Femi Beauty which was an awesome tip this was a lot faster because I don't have to shape the top or the sides or the bottom as much and I can control the amount and color that I want on my nail so yeah and I did that for the, I did this method this press on method um, for the rest of these two fingers and it just went a lot faster it was just a lot faster so after testing out the brush I don't use a spatula though I probably should it would probably make things a lot neater for me I just squeeze directly into the dual form or directly onto whatever I'm using. But yeah, super handy to have. The brush works really well, it was really easy to use. And I just clean it off with a bit of alcohol before putting it back. But yeah, this kit is gorgeous. I'll just put this back here. And we're almost done, but not quite yet. It comes underneath, it comes with a full box of dual forms. This may be hard to see because it's clear on clear, but there are dual forms in here that you can most likely find your size. I'll show you the curvature on the dual form. Let's just pick one out there. Oh, good job, baby. Let me put my remote in the back so hopefully you can see it's a slight curve not too extreme not like super empress I would say it's a really good medium though this set might also come with like flats and curves I forget I also can't see so yeah whichever one I used on my fingers worked really well and now it's time for the close-up this. Oh, so it comes with everything you would need to make your poly gel nails, except it doesn't come with the, um, the slip solution. But people do say you can use, they do say you can use the base coat for slip solution, but I feel like that's a waste of base coat. <laughs> so it's cheaper and probably a lot easier to use um, just rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. You can buy it if you can find it at Costco for like $3 for a whole whole bottle so yeah definitely was great should I just leave this open actually maybe I will so the base coat was really good like I tried um, a couple of different methods I tried the laser girl method that I saw from Femi Beauty on YouTube so if you haven't checked her out you should check her out I'll try to include her link to her channel down below but I most likely forget so Femi Beauty she I introduced me to the lazy girl method which is something I actually experimented with like years ago without knowing that it was an actual thing I was just trying like oh does builder gel hold on press on nails does does glue hold on better does base coat hold on does top coat hold on and I just it never worked out for me so then when I saw her perfect this method or kind of like what was it alter the appraid uh, gel x dupes i was like oh this is actually a thing it actually works so i tried it again and it works great anyways i'll have another video on that eventually but um let me see if i can show you my nails super close up now remember i'm like basically i'm legally blind and basically can't see and i still was able to do my own nails which means you can too uh it took me really long time like super super long but i got him done but I also kept getting interrupted, so maybe that's why. Oh, good job, baby. Okay. So here, I'm going to show you, hopefully it focuses. This one is the purple hollow glitter. Can you see the tip? This one I used the um, dual form to do. And it came out great. Oh, this one is blue, actually. Sorry. 
like I said, I'm colorblind. Um, the more thick and concentrated you put the gel, the more color you'll see. Otherwise, it'll just be like a very, very slight tint. This one, I kind of built up the tip a little too thick, and I didn't file the underside. So it is like not the best, but it'll do. But yeah, do you see the tip is really thick? Hence why you can see the color a bit more. And then this one is the pink. I really like this one. This pink one. This one I did a different method. Um, this one I just took a press-on full cover nail. And then I just shaped it to the shape that I wanted it approximately. And then I put the poly gel inside as if I were doing a dual form. Except, um, so again I used base coat on all my nails. And then I just cured it on top of the base coat. And it just kind of sticks on your press on nails for you. That was another method I learned from Femi Beauty, which was an awesome tip. This was a lot faster because I don't have to shape the top or the sides or the bottom as much. And I can control the amount and color that I want on my nail. So yeah, and I did that for, the, I did this method, this press on method um, for the rest of these two fingers and it just went a lot faster. It was just a lot faster. It was quicker to cure because I don't have to put like a super thick layer since the, the press-on nail already has the shape and form. Then again, the dual form does as well. I don't know, I feel like mm, they're about the same. But I just want to test out which one would last longer and so far they're all lasting really well. And this one is the Silver Hollow. Kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can just zoom in even more. You can see the little flecks of glitter. It's like, a, like I said, it's a very classy glitter. Hold on. Okay, sorry. So my producer is here telling me I need to go look at his ice cream cone. Anyways, so yeah, look how beautiful like the hollow glitter is. It's so hard to tell. And there's the pink one. See, it's just like a very tint, a jelly, like a straight up glitter jelly. Their description was not wrong. It's so beautiful. Again, reminds me of little twin stars. I didn't do any embellishments because I kind of just like this very simple, plain look. And this pinky one here is the purple. And I did actually like mess up here. It's a little further down from my cuticle than I would want it. I don't know if you can see it though since it's clear. But the full cover nail kind of slipped when I was just like securing it onto my nail. And yep, now it's stuck there, but it's okay. Honey, don't shake the table, please. Thank you. But yeah, these are the colors, and they are beautiful. Like, you can do so many things. Here's my thumb. Let's see, we can see this one. This one, you probably see the purple a little better because I made a thicker layer. This was the dual form also. I did my thumb and pointer finger with the dual form. And then I did the last three fingers with the full cover nail method. And so far they're all holding up. I've had them on for, I don't know, I'd say almost, um, I'd say four days. And I wash my hands probably like 200, 300 times a day just from doing mom duties. So yeah, these the base coat method definitely works better. Then super glue or nail glue and yeah, I'm still testing so we'll see which nail breaks first or lasts long, the longest depending on the method but yeah so far I think they're pretty equal anyways that's this kit and hopefully you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe thumbs up this video leave a comment down below on which poly gel jelly nail color is your favorite and I will see you guys next time. Bye!